You guys, look how cute these wedges are. Ah, oh, I just did an Instagram post about them, but they are so comfortable. I'm going out dancing, but they're also dressy. So I'm wearing them as like in substitute of heels, which are like so much more comfortable. I am so obsessed. I saw Coco from Ice and Ice Tea and Coco. Ice loves Coco wear them, and it's so cute. See, and then you wear them like all dressed up, and it matches my little choker and my big earrings. So then you kind of look dressed up, but not too dressed up, and they're just so freaking comfortable. I am so beyond obsessed with these shoes. Ah, oh, so, so cute. Hey guys, it's been a minute since I've vlogged. Um, I think last I vlogged, I have like one single vlog clip on my computer as of vlogging this. Um, so this is the most up-to-date vlog you're gonna get because as soon as I can get some sort of vlog together for you guys, it's gonna go right up because um, I haven't posted and I haven't vlogged in a, in a minute um, because it was a really weird, what is today? Today is Tuesday, it's been a really weird like five days. I have gotten flaked on by not one, the fucking wrestler that fucking blew up my social media where everyone's just fucking hating me because I did a rant video about it. Jesus. I was like, I just ranted. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was warranted. I guess, well, like the hate, I guess, was warranted. I mean, some people are really vicious, but I, I didn't know it would blow up to like that extent. I was just so pissed. And I was like, I'm gonna make a fucking video on you because that's what I told him. And he just like didn't care and he just like blew it off. And I was like, fine, I'm fucking make a video. It was stupid. It was a stupid video. It was dumb. Like, I don't like, but at the same time, I kept it up there because of all the fucking hate I got for it. It's like, Jesus, like, this is what we're like telling me to like literally kill myself and that your girl's gonna come. Like, it was so stupid. So I just like kept it up. I don't really care. Whatever. But. <laughs> Like car talk about karma. I really <clears throat> I've never flaked on it like I never flaked in the sense oh, Okay, this is how I consider flaking like he wasn't gonna text me unless I texted him So like it was 10 30 at 10 15. I texted him. Hey like hey are we like still meeting up? You know cuz a couple hours ago. You're like, okay. Yeah, we're meeting up and So <laughs> So like if you're not gonna text the person to cancel like that's flaking like I have canceled probably seven hours in advance like the person I canceled on that day like I canceled on at noon and we had the date at seven like and honestly if that happened to me like if he it's happened to me before like if you cancel like a couple hours before you know then I don't have to like shave <laughs> I don't have to do my makeup you know what I mean like it's you know girls know girls know the struggle we don't just shower put on clothes and come meet you like it's a fucking struggle so that's a really good song. I don't know what it is, but anyways, so, um, so yeah, I did flake on a date, and I actually have never really done that. And if, if people call me flaking, it's usually like either the day before, or I just don't make plans. I just don't confirm to plans. I'm not like, okay, this time, this place. You know what I mean? I would never do that. I sometimes I just like this one's like we should get together this week, and then I like don't follow. Like I guess that's considered flaking, but you know what I mean. But since then, I have been. Oh my god, I have been flaked on. In that same way within an hour or less by two more guys since then like there is something wrong with me and I fucking my haters love it they're like cuz no one fucking wants you bitch <laughs> I mean maybe that's the case shit it is so crazy I'm like so scared to even make plans with anyone anymore like this last person who flicked on me last night I was like kind of shocked cuz like even like up until 45 minutes before he's like I'm like an hour away or something and I was like okay cool because he was like driving back from somewhere and I was like okay cool and then he calls me he's like I got bad news and I was like ah but you know but this was my third time being flaked on and honestly I the second guy I have a full story time I don't know if I've ever mm, no you probably haven't seen it on my main channel I did a story I did a story time like a week a week and a half ago about this fuck boy and now I have like a follow up to him um he's not anyone like known and I wouldn't say his name anyways it's like not even a big deal whatever but like it happened again and I'm like are you fucking like I can't I can't with these people like I don't know what's wrong with me so I'm like so scared to even like try and make plans and someone's like hey let's go out to dinner Friday I'm just like I don't is it even worth it like because here's the thing it's like do I just it's like a catch-22 Joe do I just never date because <laughs> I don't want to be I'm gonna be lazy and I don't want to do my hair and makeup because I've done my hair and makeup three times now and gotten flaked on and I'm like <sighs> granted I do like a video like if I if I have the hair and makeup on I'll like do a video and I did do one yesterday actually I did a sponsored one yesterday which was you know worth my while I had to do it anyways so it was um not had to but you know you know what I mean um I had to get it done because I wanted to do the video. So anyways, I'm like so pale. I'm getting a spray tan today. 
so it's been crazy and at this point like I'm honestly like it's just like laughable and like, I can handle it really great now because it's happened three times and so I'm just like oh I'm, I'm just an expert at this shit this is why I hate dating I'm getting my hair I'm getting my hair done today right my roots aren't like that bad but I'm going oh, you guys this is exciting I'm going from like gold to like platinum I'm really scared well I'm kind of scared because I mean not because of my hair colorist because she's amazing I'm more um oh, this guy could have gone through I'm more scared <laughs> for the integrity of my hair because I get it styled a lot but I haven't really styled as much lately so yeah so anyways that's what I'm doing We'll see how it goes. Happy Pride Month. I mean, we are well into June, but I have my Playboy bunny, my little gay bunny. <laughs> um, happy Pride Month to all the LGBTQPAS+. Guys, look how cute my hair is. It is so blonde now. I love it. There's no more brassiness in it. It's literally me on my background on my phone. There's no more brassiness. Can you guys see? Ugh. It is so good. Zoe killed it. I love it so much. She said a few of you guys have come and gotten like the same color. I love that so much. I think it's so cool. But just be warm. Blonde is a lot of upkeep. She's always like, some people like are like, oh my god, it grows out so fast. And you have to be really careful with it. But I am obsessed with this hair. Oh, she did so good. I'm excited. All right, now I gotta go get my nails done. I gotta go pick up packages, get my nails done. I have so much spray tan. I have a dinner tonight with Sergio. Business dinner. <laughs> and yeah. See how the rest of the day goes. Aaron day. As always, I'm doing, oh, I'm doing Shane's podcast tomorrow. You guys are wondering why. I always have to get like my roots done, my spray tan, my nails done right before a big thing. And it is a big thing. You guys, look how freaking cute. I just filmed a video for my main channel, but look how freaking cute this laptop case is. I had that silver one for so long, but when I got my new laptop, I obviously needed a new case. Is that not like the cutest thing ever? I'm dying. It actually matches my phone so perfectly. Isn't that so cute? The company, the or the Etsy shop is Crystallized Couture. It is so gorgeous. It's like so beautiful. I just got it in, so I'm like obsessed. This is my office. I sit in my bed. I stare at Drogo, but the Drogos in my life are getting a little out of hand. One Drogo, two Drogos, <laughs> three Drogo, four. <laughs> you guys, I just can't like something. I have to obsess over things. You guys know this by now? Like, I literally have my hair platinum because I want to be Daenerys Targaryen. Like, what is wrong with me? Don't answer that. <laughs> uh, this is making me so happy. I am so in love with Ed Sheeran and his voice. Actually, I have him on my wall, too. There's a naked picture of me, so I got to be careful on what I show, but... I have him on my wall as well. Do you see? There's Drogo and there's Ed. And then that says, Kiss Me Under the Light of a Thousand Stars. My favorite lyrics ever.